Welcome back to the AHDB stand at Fruit Logistica 2019. I'm Michael Barker from the Fresh Produce Journal and we're conducting a series of video interviews with major players from the British industry. I'm delighted to welcome James Miller from Chambers. Thanks Michael. Thank James, you James, big welcome to you. Uh, you've got an excellent stand here at Fruit Logistica. Uh, tell us a bit about why you want to exhibit at this show. Thank you. So Chambers, we're a, a, a berry grower from Kent. Um, Historically, generational farm, um, we've been expanding over the years and, and, and now have a year-round supply. So we work with growers around the world. Um, Berlin, really, this is the second year we've done it mm. as chambers. And if we're setting up a wild business, we've got to go and see the farms anyway. Yeah. And so to be here where we can meet the guys from the Chile and Peru and Morocco and Spain, it's just it's a no-brainer, really. We've got to... We've got to be here. We've got to have a presence here, yeah. as well as being able to meet and, and carry on the conversation. So yeah, um, we're doing a lot of work with our UK farms and farms abroad mm. in terms of plants, etc. So yes. this place is a real. It's just such an important part of the calendar for yeah. us, really. And you've got connections in quite a few countries yourself as a business, haven't you? That's correct. So we're operating in. I've had meetings this morning with South African guys and guys who are operating in Kenya. Yeah. Um, things that we can, where we can find something that we do well yeah. and transfer it over that works for them mm. and also works back for us, that's the kind of synergies that we're looking for in yeah. our uh, joint farming businesses. Most definitely. And is it arguably even more important to be, as a British company, to be here at the moment at a time when you know, it's a little bit uh, politically unstable, should we say, going around about Brexit? The actual truth of this. Mm. I don't think that B word has come up in any conversation so really? far. That's fascinating. It is business as usual. We will continue to do what we're doing. Yeah. We will get through this whatever happens. Mm. But we've honestly been operating with everybody as if it's business as usual. Yeah, yeah. We, we are still open, of course. Good, wonderful to hear that. And uh, actually, uh, Chambers has got one of the big announcements of the week. You've uh, launched a new division called the Fruitery, I understand. That's correct. Tell us a bit about that. So the Fruitery is a number of years in the making. Uh, with Tim Chambers, the, the uh, MD of the group, always wants to, he's always looking at, to diversify and strengthen his business for the future. This is just a natural add-on to what we're currently doing with our fruit farming, mm. working with growers around the world, yeah. our import packing business, to facilitate and invest in a prepared ready-to-eat country. So we've done that, it's on the farm. Yeah. We believe we're going to have a really short supply chain and, yeah. and hopefully better quality and longer life because of that. Yeah, and I gather this is something in the UK first, isn't it? In terms of a grower having that facility right there on their farm. In terms of berry production, absolutely, yes. Mm -hmm. So berry production, and we grow raspberries, blueberries, strawberries, yeah. uh, blackberries. It's quite unique to have the ready-to-eat offer on the farm itself, mm -hmm. yeah. And that must help uh, speed up the supply chain in terms of... Uh, lengthening the uh, how long you can keep it on shelf and so on. Uh, absolutely, yeah. Our, our trials already show that it's quite an extended shelf life. Mm. I mean, it's from the farm yeah. straight into the pot. It really yeah. couldn't be much quicker than yeah. that. Absolutely. And uh, Chambers' business has grown quite significantly over the last few years. How, how have you done that? What's that been achieved on the back of? I think part of the, um, the, the move in the berry industry to work a bit more closely with retailers and retailers a bit more closely with growers has yeah. enabled us to really hone our business that works for each individual customer. Now we can speak directly to them, and yes. I think that's facilitated some of our growth here. Mm. Um, longer term deals and, and, and has enabled us to invest, which then spurs on the, uh, yeah. the growth. Yeah, most definitely. And then you also see exports as part of the, uh, the future picture for the company? I think, well, we don't know what's going to happen after um, March yeah. with the currency. Certainly the product with the fruitery is people are already coming to us from the continent yeah. looking at, in fact, wider afield, we had some good meetings yesterday, yeah. about buying that prepared product uh, outside of the UK. So that's that's quite an interesting thing that we're going to look to develop. Yeah, that's a really encouraging thing to hear. British produce have a very high reputation abroad and you know, even as far as the Middle East and the Far East. Well, it's the best in the world, Mark. Indeed. <laughs> It is excellent quality, and if we can provide all those things, then I'm sure there's a market for it. Yeah. Wonderful stuff. It's a really positive story. James Miller, thank you so much. Thank for your you time. very much. Cheers. Thanks, Michael.